it's Erica here. I am so excited about my video today. It is all about color. We're gonna have fun playing with all different kinds of color combinations. So stay tuned. Color, one thing that really helped me was discovering Jen Thoden's YouTube channel. She is just brilliant at analyzing what colors look good on your skin tone and just kind of helping you to navigate where you're at on the spectrum of color, I guess. I had always been told that I am a, you know, cool toned um, by my mom. But then other people would tell me that I'm a neutral. And then I found it weird because I would look good in bright, red colors that had warm undertones and then colors such as burgundy and like a maroon didn't really look as good on me. What I've discovered through Jen's channel is that you can be either a bright or a soft and some people really light up and look beautiful in softer colors, muted palettes, um, and then other people look great and light up when they're wearing bright colors. So I discovered through that that I am actually a bright. As you can see from my wardrobe behind me, I tend towards more of the bright colors. So this year I have decided to fully embrace all bright colors and wear more bright clothes. I have been really enjoying pairing some wacky color combos together and a lot of you on Instagram actually have given me some wonderful color combo ideas. Sonia Sonic 7 said olive and teal was one of her favorite combos. I would love to try that today. Um, also, second time around fashion loves corals mixed with reds and pinks, which is so cool. It's almost monochromatic, but not totally. Sarah Rellis says ochre and emerald. That sounds like an amazing color combo. Of course, you know my friend Janelle that was in my Thrift With Us video mentioned she loves the ketchup and mustard combo, the red and the yellow. Tia Alicia said silver and lilac. That sounds beautiful. Gabby Vela said orange and gold and sky blue. Lady Laura Jane Roche said red and pink. And Mid Mini Mimi said orange and turquoise. Sorry if I butchered any of those Instagram handle names, but those are all such great color combo ideas. I'm so excited to get started. So I am gonna throw out all of the you know rules today and I'm just gonna go for it and make some wacky color combinations and crazy fun outfits. So before we get started, I wanted to pull out a couple of my favorite color pieces and share them with you. So let's just start with my all-time favorite, this red kimono. I feel like I could actually say that this red kimono somewhat inspired me to start my YouTube channel. I put this on with this like crazy combo of striped pants and a gingham top. I felt so beautiful in this crazy <laughs> color combo with the mix of the patterns and the prints. And it just really felt like me and my personality. This kimono that I thrifted from a flea market for $5 was actually what did it. I absolutely adore this. I'll never part with it. <laughs> so another one of my favorite pieces is my double whammy sweater. Um, I just love this color. It's a nice mustard yellow and I don't really have a lot of mustard yellow in my wardrobe, although I would like to incorporate more. I just went ahead and took some yarn and I embroidered double whammy on the front because I thought it was a funny uh, term. So this is one of my favorite cozy sweaters to wear for the winter. Another one of my favorites is this beautiful olive green pleated skirt. I actually uh, wore this in one of my Outfit of the Week videos. This is from And Other Stories. I have actually never bought from them, but I saw this skirt online and I instantly fell in love with it. And I've been looking for a pleated skirt for a very, very, very long time. And this one happened to be in one of my favorite colors, green. So I snatched this one up. Okay, so these teal pants, these teal trousers I got from a 
look, they even go with this outfit. <laughs> I got these the same time I got my kimono and these were, I think they were $5 as well. They're 100% linen. I think they're just a ton of fun and they are such a statement trouser. So they're really fun to wear when I'm feeling like, you know, just extra, extra. <laughs> Okay, and you guys all know I love my trousers, my orange trousers. These were vintage. I got them from a flea market for a couple bucks. The waist was uh, too big because it was stretched out to go over my booty. So what I did is I took it to a tailor and I had her add a zipper on the side, which took the waist in a little bit. So now they fit me very snugly and they're some of my favorite trousers to wear.
for joining me today. I hope you're inspired to take a look at your wardrobe, maybe throw some colors together that you wouldn't have normally put together. Also wanted to say, if you're trying to figure out how to organize your closet, my favorite way is to do it by color. I find that when I open my closet and things aren't color coordinated, I feel a little bit anxious and like things are disorganized. But as soon as I organize it by color, I feel like when I open my closet, I'm excited to get dressed. I feel like my eyes can rest on different pieces in my wardrobe and it's not overwhelming. I know where everything is. There's an organizational tip for you, organize by color. One last thing I wanted to say is I am going to be listing some of these things for sale on my Depop. So please check out the links down in my description box below. Some of the shoes are gonna be for sale as well as some of the clothes. So anytime you purchase from my Depop, I just want you to know that you are helping me get one step closer to being able to do this um, full time and I absolutely appreciate your support and your love. So thank you so much for that. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe down below and hit that bell so that you're notified every time I post a new video. And make sure to like this video if you like it. Comment down below what your favorite color combo that I did was. Then if I didn't do one that you wanted to see, make sure to let me know what it is. I'll try to do it in one of my next videos. And ladies, oh, Remember, you are absolutely beautiful just the way that you are. Allow yourself to be a little girl again when you get dressed and see what brings a smile to your face and what makes you happy. And then wear it and don't be ashamed of it. Wear it with confidence because you love it. Bye!